In this video, I'll show you how you can see more information about the variables and objects that you would find in your code when you're working inside VS Code. So I'm working in VS Code and I've got my container attached. I've got a Python file open here. And so let me just hide that. So if I press Shift Enter, it should open up in the interactive window. I've imported pandas and now I'm printing out some information about that. Let me see, let's see if we create a couple new variables, x is three and y is four. And we go ahead and run those through the interactive window as well. And now suppose we want to just double check the values of the different variables and objects we've created. I can click on the more button and then on variables and that'll open up a little window where I could see that this data frame house prices has 128 rows, six columns. These are the uh, different columns in it. Here's X and Y. These are integers with values three and four. If you want to see an interactive visualization of that data frame? I can open up a data viewer here by clicking on that icon, and I can filter and sort uh, on that very easily. All right, so that's basic Python. Just close this without saving. Don't need that. Let's go and take a look at this file here. So that's our Pandas, sorry, Python notebook. Got the kernel set up. I'm going to go ahead and run this. This also has an option to view variables in a very similar window. And if I had more variables, x is 3, y is equal to 4, run that. Now these are going to get added. And again, we can see the values that are available here. An interactive window to browse is available as well. There's another neat plugin that's available here, which is called the Data Wrangler. So whenever you print something that's related to a data frame, you'll get this little icon. You can click on that and it provides you some interesting information plus some visualizations that are interactive about your data. Uh, you can get some data summaries, number of rows, missing values, you name it. Let's click on price here. Now we get some additional information, the data type, number of rows, some statistics, minimum, maximum, and so on. Uh, so that's a pretty neat way to get a quick view of your data as well. And then let's take a look at R. So if we try to run R code, let me just minimize this to create some space. Get rid of this. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to open up a terminal. So I'm going to do that with control backtake. And I'm going to start an R process so that I can execute my code. On R, sorry, on Mac, you would use Command Enter on Windows Control Enter. And so this prints your data frame. Let's just define also some new variables here. Y is equal to four. And execute that into the terminal, the R terminal in this case. So here we can also get some more information about the different variables that exist. So click on R from the More menu. And you'll see in the global environment that there's a number of different things that are defined x, y, house prices. There's also an interactive viewer, which I can connect to, which is just like the uh, one for Python. All right, let me just close that. Don't need to save that either. That. All right, let's take a look at the QMD. That should work in the same way. So here, if I run my cell, uh, that's executed in the R terminal here, Python, the interactive window. Let's see if we create uh, x is equal to three here. Run that cell. Now we should again be able to, I'll just minimize that for a second. I haven't run this yet. There we go. Now we should be able to use variables just like we did before. And there's our x defined. Close that. And with R, I haven't defined any variables yet, so let me do one here too. X is equal to, let's make it four. That runs in here. I should be able to see that here as well, although this seems to be connected with the other R file. Let's see if I, oh, okay. This is all connected to the same terminal. So let me just exit out of this. You and enter, start a new one. And here I'm going to run my cell. 
you'll see that there's only one variable available here. So basically what R here does, the R icon that I got from the more dropdown, uh, is it'll show whatever is, has been defined within the terminal that could have been created from an R file, from a QMD file, from an R markdown file, whatever it is that contains R code. That's helpful.